We've got a canvas, Sarah's old remote control toys. Yeah. And a ton of paint. Sweet. Let's make some art. You might see me in a Lambo. Camel's hat, Rambo. 500 horse Jango. Oh. <laughs> right, so if you can grab the car, yeah. we need to get some paint on the wheels. We're going to use it to paint a really nice line down the middle. OK, cool. I'm going to have to go quite slowly so I get a nice line. I'll just help guide you, mate. You can be like my sat-nav. Sat-gav. Yay. Yeah! Right, Gav, grab the car. Sarah, bring your paint tray. Let's take it up a notch. OK, Sarah, put some more green paint in there. OK. Gavin, hold the car. OK. And we're going to stick this roll on the back and it's going to drag it along. Oh, nice, I see. Look at that, it's a great texture. That's looking great. But, guys, I think it's time to get prehistoric. <laughs> No? Well, we're going to need some darker paint to pot on the bottom of these dinosaurs' feet. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Not fast, but amazing. Cool, guys. We're not going to be using the remote controls anymore. We're going to go handheld, a bit more analogue. <laughs> What's this going to be? Well, I don't want to give it away, but let's just say it will have plenty of horsepower. <laughs> My horse laughs in the face of your digger. <laughs> <laughs> to get the more detailed bits and to get a bit of a blend, I've gone down to just using a tyre. And that's it, guys. We've made a thoroughbred picture using remote control toys. That looks awesome. I love it. It's great. But you know what? We should get back. It's all right for you. I crashed my skateboard, remember? I oh, mate, you did. This picture gives me a great idea for a new mode of transport for you. Saddle up, mate. <sighs> Giddy up! Wish you luck. <laughs> the Danger Rangers was all about the great outdoors, so I'm going to make a butterfly picture inspired by Damien Hurst. I'm going to use a salad spinner to make a spin painting. Pop some paper in there and paint, give it a whirl and watch it run everywhere. A popular Damien Hurst technique. All right, Ricky. Is that you, Damien? You scared me. Why are you wearing a mask? Yeah, it's one of me works, isn't it? It's a school of crystals called For the Love of God. And why are you on a jar of pickles? Cos I once pickled a dead cow in something called formaldehyde. I prefer your spin paintings. And here's a great example. I'm inspired to do some spin painting now. So I don't want to splat you. I'm just going to turn you around. Hey, talk about liberties. I'll leave him lurking with the gherkins while I carry on with my butterfly picture. Got a bit of paper and a plate here. I'm gonna draw around that with a pencil. I'm gonna cut that out. Now, with a little bit of sticky tack, I'm gonna stick my paper to the bottom of the salad spinner. I'm using an old one, I don't mind getting paint on. Now, I'm gonna put in some dollops of paint. Doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit, just means they might mix together as it's spinning round. Time to give it a spin. It looks amazing! All the colours have run nicely and mixed together towards the edge of the disc. I could wait for this to dry, but not me. Ninja skills. Now, with a pencil, 
just going to draw on my butterfly shape. I'm going to cut that out. Now I'm going to need a lot of butterflies and I'm going to cut them all out and arrange them into a beautiful picture. I'm going to draw around this butterfly now as my template so they're all exactly the same. Right, here's my first set, my five butterflies. But I'm going to need a lot more of these if I want to make my picture. So I'm going to use some ninja skills. That should do it. Got a nice big bit of paper here. And I'm going to arrange my butterflies on it and glue them down with a little bit of PVA glue. And folding them up like this just makes the butterflies pop out from the page. I'm going to do a line, I think, through it, like this. Maybe turn it into like a big starburst of butterflies. And don't worry if yours start to fall over, because you can always perk the wings back up once the glue's dried. Just adding a few more in between the lines to create this nice circular pattern. It's very similar to what Damien Hirst actually did himself. Look at that! They could almost be alive. Every single one a beautiful, unique, colourful butterfly. I think it's so good, it deserves a frame. I think this looks truly amazing, but you can try a different arrangement. You don't have to do butterflies, you could do jets instead to take the art to a whole different plane. Um, Why do you think I look um, silly? Shh, it's the Grand Master. Um, Very zen. Greetings, dudes! Salutations, Grandmaster. What can you teach us, O oh, wise one? Lesson number 333 in a third two enlightenment. Decorative attachments for your cupboard of coldness. Fridge magnets. Yeah, use a small stone, dude. Painted your favorite color. Oh no, oh. <laughs> Blue is not my color. <laughs> Carry on painting, dudes. Now let it dry. Stick on some googly eyes with strong glue. Draw a funny mouth. Stick a magnet on the back. Ah, so cute. Put it on your cupboard of coldness. So cool. Lesson number 333 and a third complete. Cool. You rock, Grandmaster. I am enlightened. You are most welcome. Um. Isn't it nice to be outside on such a lovely day? Do you want some orange juice? Yes, please. Rick, do you want some? Oh, oh, Rich! Oh, oh you put so it all sorry. over my I look like I weed myself. Oh. oh, man, it's ruined. Oh, sorry, mate. But you're forgetting something. I'm a ninja. Ninja skills? skills? No, it's just an animation. Let's get our ninja on. So to make this animation, you'll need a change of clothes, tablet with animation app, and a friend to press the button. And you can put it together in just three ninja moves. Ninja move number one. We need to practice our ninja kicks. <laughs> ninja move number two. So I set up my tablet device. Need to start with the trousers. And now this works because you get a really good snap kick. I need to wind it up so when I kick into the trousers, it's really believable. So I'm going to hold them out wide in front of me. 
and start bringing it back. And Ella needs to take the shots for me. So left foot coming back. Testing balance. And then just kick into it like that. And now I need to slip the actual trouser leg on. So hold up a sec. It's a balance, isn't it? I'm gonna kick into it the other way because it's just gonna be more fun, I think. It's good to use like baggy trousers. I've used some tracksuit bottoms. I'm gonna put the other leg in. Oh, it's still so sticky. Ninja move number three. You now get to move on to the top. We're just gonna pop it straight on. There's not gonna be one arm and then the other. It's gonna go straight up the chest. And this works because of the feedback. So when it lands on you, you need to feel like you've been hit by the impact. You're like, and then suddenly you're all clean. Okay, we've shot all our frames. I think it's time to take a look at our mini masterpiece. Oh, yeah! Oh, amazing. What do you guys think? Rick, you're a real snappy dresser, mate. Ah, no. Practice, practice, practice. But how am I going to practice football in here without wrecking the place? I know, I'm going to make... The Art Ninja Flickball Game. Got an old pizza box here, and it's going to become my pitch. Need some grass on it, so I'm going to squeeze out some light green and a little bit of dark green, and I'm going to paint it onto the cardboard using a sponge. Sponge is giving the cardboard a lovely grassy texture. Add a little bit of dark green in as well. This just makes it look more realistic. I need for that to dry, but I'm going to use my ninja skills. Here we go, lovely and dry. And the back edges are red, and they're going to be my barriers. And now I need to mark out the pitch. Start with the halfway line and the goal line. The goal area. Just doing the area the other end. The centre circle. A little semicircle on the top of here. Does anyone know what these are for? I don't. I'm going to fold up my barriers. And these barriers I'm going to decorate with some banners made out of old wrapping paper. Stick them onto the edges with a glue stick. You don't have to use wrapping paper. You could use stickers, old packets, anything you like. I'm using the wrapping paper to hold the corners in place here. Finished all my banners. Now I need to make some goals. So I've cut some strips of card here and I'm sticking them together with double-sided sticky tape. The long ones are going to be the goal posts, and the shorter one, the crossbar. I've got a nifty little idea for the net to recycle an old fruit bag and stick it down with some sticky tape. Trim it down with a pair of scissors. Lovely. Now I need to fold this to turn it into my goal, and then at the bottom, make two little tabs that I can stick to the pitch with a little bit of double-sided sticky tape. And sticking down these two tabs just behind the goal line. But football's a game of two halves, so I'm gonna need another goal. Ninja skills. Now I've got the pitch, I need to make the players. So I've got a couple of pieces of card here and paper clip. And I'm just gonna put some strips of double-sided sticky tape on the inside of this cardboard. And then lay down my paper clip like that. And then sandwich it between the two pieces of cardboard. With a pen, I'm gonna draw my player's body. Red ninja shirt, some dark shorts. I've cut out a picture of my face to stick on the top, but you can personalize your players however you like. Now for the base, I'm using an old bottle top and I'm gonna weight it with some modeling clay. Just gonna push it in. And now finally, I can push the paper clip at the bottom of my player into the clay. To play a game, I'm gonna need some new signings. So I'm gonna use my ninja skills. So, now I've got a whole squad, including my mystery football-playing girlfriend. And I've used another bottle top to make the football, but I've kept it empty. Time for kickoff. So, Michelle, you're in goal. Ricky steps up to the ball. There's a lot riding on this. He shoots. Goal! And the great thing about this game is when you reach full time, you can tidy it away. But you don't have to make one like mine. You can make some footballing kittens. And these guys are playing with a ball of wool. If football's not your game, how about a game of pool? 
That's my cue to leave.